welcome back to the channel and uh, the build of our band here, which I think I'm going to call it the Bat Band. Hmm, go figure. Anyway, guess what we're going to install today? we got a couple of Max, uh, Max Air fans and uh, we're going to put one in the front, one in the rear. So, if you want to see how uh, we do that, stick around and I'll show you some things that we've got with this. Okay, so I purchased these from Camping World, and these are the model 7500K. These do have the remote control and a bunch of fancy stuff that uh, this thing can do. So we have uh, one for the rear, which we're going to put right here, and then one here in the front that we'll put right there. And that'll give us some pretty decent airflow. Also, I have another package here that we're going to open up. Let's see what that one is. So I did a little online research on installing these fans on the ProMaster. And in my search, I came across what they call ProMaster roof vent adapter. And you can see these have the little grooves that will follow in the uh, channels on the roof so you can set this on there and there won't be any gaps under uh, the roof vent where you have to fill in with uh, butyl tape so we will uh, we will put a little butyl tape under this set this on the roof and then the fan can sit flat on here and we'll secure that in place and to do that make sure there's nothing else in here to do that, I also made made a couple of rings that we're going to install inside on the roof. So when we go to fasten through the uh, top of the van, we can actually go into some wood and secure things down real nice like. So let me give you a shot on uh, how I plan on putting that up there. So once we get the hole cut inside of the van, then we'll go ahead and take our ring and we'll place that up here. And for uh, securing that, I'll probably use some ProFlex adhesive and we'll clamp it in place, let it cure, and then we'll install the fan over top of it. So I think that's going to look pretty decent. So first thing I'm going to do is make a template, 14 by 14, put it up here, figure out where the center is going to be. That way I can get on the roof and then I can put the adapter on there, mark a line, and we can get things cut out. Alright, let's get it done. Okay, so uh, I made me a little cardboard template and I found the uh, center just by drawing a couple of lines uh, corner to corner. Found the center, figure out where I want to place that and mark the hole right here and we're about 12 and a half inches from this back edge to the center and 12 inches, 12 and a half inches from this beam to the center. So I know that when I go to cut, I'm not going to go <laughs> cut through the, uh, through the beam. So next step is we're going to tape this off, get some paper hanging in here to catch all the shavings, go on top, mark for the hole, drill a large enough hole for our saw to fit through and uh, we're going to go ahead and cut a hole in the van. Alright, when drilling or cutting in any type of metal, make sure you have safety glasses. And when we get on top to start cutting, wear hearing protection. <laughs> cutting metal is loud. So let's drill a hole. turn them back now. Okay, let's get up there and mark things. All right, so we set our uh, vent adapter up here and you can see how it follows the uh, grooves. Real nice and pretty like. A little butyl tape under that, some fasteners through that, keeps it down. So here's our hole. What we need to do is find the center, which is seven inches. 
and I think that's about it. Get it in there a little bit. Right there. Now we'll take a pen, mark it out, put some tape down, drill some holes in the corner, and get it cut. So we have the hole in the roof, and I've taken a file, went around this edge here a little bit, and uh, our ring fits in here. Nice. Clearance all the way around, so now we can uh, put some butyl tape on this, set our ring on, butyl tape that, and uh, get it fastened down. And also install our ring on the inside. I think that's what we'll do next is go ahead and clamp that in place and uh, let that Pro Flex dry and then we'll fasten this down. What a chore. Alright, so test fitting the ring. It sits in there real nice with just a little bit of play. So that's going to look pretty good up there. Let's take a look at the inside. And that's what it looks like with a hole in the freaking van. Yeah, expensive hole. I'm liking it. So now we uh, put up our wooden ring, one of these, and we'll get that set in place and clamp down. And we'll fasten that fan on. Alright, now we're going to use uh, putty tape, and I've used butyl tape and putty tape. I like the putty tape because the butyl tape, uh, in the rain or when you wash a vehicle, it likes to leave little black streaks down the rig, and then you kind of have to constantly wash it. Putty tape doesn't do that, so we're going to use the putty tape. that in place and then uh, we'll Pro Flex our inside ring we'll clamp it down all right let's get some Pro flex around our ring, we'll get it clamped in place, then we'll fasten it down. Now we can go up and uh, fasten our uh, ring down. Alright, so we have some holes here that we countersunk and put in our screws into our wood and that sucked down, get the putty out. Now we can put our uh, Max Air ring in and we'll go ahead and pre-drill all the holes and we'll get that fastened down. 
Probably won't shoot that. It's pretty hot up here. We're gonna make it quick. All right, and there it is. So next we set our fan there, put our screws here on the side, and we can call that one done. Then we just have one more to do. Hopefully it goes a lot quicker than this one. And there it is. All right, so we still have some putty tape still oozing out. We'll give that time to uh, squeeze and compress. And then we'll uh, go around it with some lap sealant. So now the last but not least is the uh, plastic. And there it is. Nice. Good deal. So on the inside, it looks pretty good. I think now we can uh, probably close it. It's motor driven, so. Sweet. Now we have to hook a battery to it and test it out and make sure it works. All right, so I've got my makeshift uh, testing battery hooked up, deader than a doornail, and let's see if that fan works, shall we? All right, so here's our remote, and here it goes. Right now the air is pulling out. Nice little breeze. And we can turn the fan up. Oh, feels so good. So I've owned both the Fantastic Fan and the uh, Max Air, and I've got to tell you that the Max Air is much quieter than the uh, fantastic fan and I think we have about 10 speeds on this and I think on the fantastic fan I had about four speeds and it didn't have the uh, remote and it wouldn't run when it was closed now this one is supposed to run while it's closed let's turn this fan up Let's see if this closes. Oh yeah. And it opens right back up. I'm gonna figure that out. But I think I like that. Sweet. It works. Now we just have one more to put on. I should have picked a shady day. All right, once this thing was installed, one of the observations I made, and which uh, I didn't foresee, <laughs> is along this edge here, there's this big gap. And so when you uh, tighten down your fan shroud, it compresses, so the roof does this. So I took those three screws out, and I actually had a piece of quarter by uh, quarter trim, and I trimmed that down and put that in place and went back up top and put the screws down. And that took the bow that was in the roof and it took it out. So just needed it right there. Uh, these aren't going to compress so those uh, worked out alright. I think most of the screws are right here anyway. There's three screws there at the ends. So. Let's go take a look at one more time at the top and then we get the front one done. So right along this edge, it was dipping real good and uh, I didn't like it. I mean, you could live with it, but I didn't like it. And if 
did rain or water get in there, it would just puddle. So I went ahead and put that spacer in there, put the screws back down, tightened her up, and that made it nice and straight. So I am I'm happy with that. Both sides are looking good. Yep. All right, we'll let that uh, putty tape ooze out more and then we'll clean all that up before we think about putting Dicor on there. And I need to uh, definitely wash the roof. It's pretty dirty. All right, now we got to shimmy up there and take care of that one. All right, with uh, about an hour and a half, two hours worth of work, I've got the front fan installed, got my test wires hooked up, and now we're ready to test it out. This is the same remote that I'm using uh, for the front as I did the back, so I think it should work. All right, so that works. Front and back, both installed and both work. So I think what I'll do is I'll clean up, close the doors, open that fan, and turn this one on, just to see what kind of circulation I can get in here. It's a hot day today, and uh, I'm hoping it'll give me a nice little breeze. Good breeze coming through the door now. All right, let's turn that off. Sweet. All right, so I've got the rear doors closed, the side door is closed, back vent is open, and this one is sucking air. I can't say it's uh, <laughs> drawing in cool air because it's like 80 plus, I don't know what temperature is outside, in the 80s. Uh, so I'm getting a nice circulation of warm air, but it's a breeze, and it does feel pretty good. So I'm pretty stoked that uh, both fans work, both fans are installed. After a couple days of this uh, putty tape oozing out and stuff, I'll clean that up and then we'll put a nice bead of uh, self-leveling Dicor and uh, make sure that that's leak proof. All right, well let me wrap it up, the fan that is. All right, so we've got the uh, two exhaust fans installed and they work and I'm happy with it. So what's left is a couple of pieces of uh, insulation on both sides of the fan and uh, then we're ready to start the framework. You know the uh, scariest thing wasn't uh, cutting holes in the van. Uh, <laughs> the scariest thing was hey I'm 58 years old and climbing on top of this thing uh, <laughs> I'm not young anymore and I think the, the fear of falling off was probably the scariest thing, so I'm glad I got that out of the way. Um, I still have some solar panels and things like that I need to install, and, uh, well, after being up there twice on this thing, well, several times installing these fans, I'm not really looking forward to it, so I'm going to figure a different way of trying to get up there and get that installed. But, regardless, uh, I think now is, uh, once I get the insulation installed, is to start the framework. So I'm kind of looking forward to that. I still haven't figured out exactly how I want the layout to be, but uh, I'm sure I'll get that here shortly. So I appreciate you watching and uh, hope you find it interesting. And if there's uh, any questions you'd like to ask, Leave them in the, the comments down below, and I'll do my best to answer. And, well, until next time, stay tuned.